Welcome to another video. So, if you remember, I covered Pastemax a while back. It was a really good tool that allows you to copy the whole context of your application and then paste it into something like ChatGPT to make edits and everything like that. Basically, it lets you easily give the context of your apps to something like ChatGPT or AI Studio and access the power of those models for free. But it didn't have one thing, and that was the issue. It couldn't apply the changes given, and it didn't give us the responses in diff format like ChatGPT does. You had to copy the response from there and use Klein with some low-cost or free model like Gemini to apply the changes. And it didn't work that well, because the response used to be very verbal, and it didn't work as well. It was like repo prompt, but without the applying options. But I have found something that is actually just like repo prompt and can actually give you exact diffs that you can use to apply the changes. This one is called Shotgun Code. It's open source and free to use, and I really found it interesting. If you have used repo prompt or something like that before, then you'll easily understand what it does. It basically allows you to instantly select a folder, and it will just let you get an instant tree plus file dump in a predictable delimiter format. You can also tick or untick checkboxes to exclude files as well, like node modules and stuff which are not generally needed. You can then paste the result into ChatGPT, Gemini 2.5, or cursor to ask for multi-file edits, refactors, bug fixes, reviews, or documentation. You will then receive a diff-style reply from whatever you are using, like ChatGPT, and you can just paste that response in it. It will give you the diff of the changes, and you can then use that to give it to something like Klein with the free Gemini model, and use that, which is awesome. It is actually extremely similar to RuCode's Human Relay mode, which also does basically the same thing. It is mainly built on Vue and Go, so it will generally be faster as it uses Go for the back end. It is also lightweight, as it doesn't use anything like a database, cloud, or stuff like that, which is awesome. So, to use it, you can just download it from the release section, or you can also build it from source and use it based on what you would like. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Dart. Dart is the only truly AI native project management tool that you'll ever need. You can use it to manage your tasks for a project, create multiple boards, organize them, and do everything that you generally do. But you can also use AI with it to manage your tasks. For example, you can ask it to generate tasks for you by brainstorming or planning projects, as well as performing duplicate detection to keep you focused. You can even assign whole tasks to Dart and it can get them done for you. You can use their composer-like AI agent that has the context of all your tasks and you can chat in natural language to just ask it to do something. It can delete tasks, create tasks, edit it tasks and handle multiple things like that. Apart from this, you can integrate it into your AI clients or coders with its MCP server, which allows your MCP client or coder to reference tasks from your dartboards. You can even integrate it into Claude, ChatGPT, and much more. Most of the features in Dart are free, while you can also get the $8 subscription for more features. Make sure that you check Dart out through the link in the description. Now, back to the video. Now, this is what it looks like. You can see that on the left, you have the sidebar where you can select the project folder that you want to use. Once you select the folder, you can see all the files that you can exclude or include. It automatically unchecks the Git and Node Modules folders, which is generally what you'd want. You can also see the project context that you can copy and paste into something like ChatGPT or anything like that. But we would also want to give it the prompt of what we want to do. So, we can move to the next step, which is the Compose Prompt option. Here, you can enter the task about what you want to do in the application, and it will get that accommodated in the context you copy. So, 
you can just type in whatever you want to do, and you can also put in custom rules for the AI to follow if you want to do that. Like, if you want it to only code in a certain way, or change a certain file, then you can mention that here as an additional custom rule or context, and then you can use that accordingly. You can also select the type of prompt that you want to use here. Like, if you want it to be an editor, then you'd want it to be in dev mode. But if you wanted to propose high-level change suggestions, then you can use architect mode. Or, if you are fixing some bug, then you can use the find bug option, and you also have some others to try out as well. Anyway, let's just select the dev option and give it a task here. Now, we can just go ahead and put it in anything. I would be using Gemini 2.5 Pro because that's the best, and it's fully free on Google's AI Studio without any limit, which is awesome for this. So, just paste it here, and in just a bit, you'll get a response like this. So, you can now just copy this, and then open up Shotgun, and here just paste it. It will split up the diff that you have pasted here into multiple sections that you can then copy and paste into something like Klein, Cursor, or Windsurf, and ask it to apply these diff edits, which is amazing. So, you can just copy this, and now I will recommend you use Klein and the Gemini 2.5 Flash model, because that is the best way to use it, as Gemini is great for applying these diffs. You can also use some other models or local models for this as well, but I wouldn't recommend it as much. So, just go ahead and in the settings, choose Gemini or Open Router or Requesty, and go ahead and set up Gemini 2.5 Flash and use that. You can also use Kilo Code for this. Kilo Code is basically like RuCode and Klein, but with some much greater features, and it gives you free $20 credits to try out models like Gemini 2.5 Pro and Flash as well, if you wish to use that. Anyway, just go ahead and ask it to apply the diff, and then paste the diff in there, and it will just get that accommodated accordingly. You can see that it has applied the stuff here, and it did all this super well. So, this is good. I mean, if you use something like ChatGPT's O3 and want to use it without paying an exorbitant amount of money in API costs, this will really come in handy when you are dealing with some super complex bugs and stuff like that, as it can easily give you top capabilities for AI models and use that accordingly. It is really useful, and I like such stuff. I would have liked the patch capabilities in it as well, but it doesn't have that. For some reason, none of the open source options have the patch option except for RuCode's human relay mode. So. There's that. You can use it accordingly. I really liked it, and I hope that it gets the patch option soon as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.